Let's talk about something a lot more encouraging because we are getting more New Mexicans vaccinated every single day. When we last checked our state's dashboard, nearly 24% of New Mexicans are fully vaccinated. Nearly 40% have gotten shot number one at this point. But we have also learned that there's still more hesitancy to that shot, and it's not just a trust issue anymore. Megan Abundus learned millennials are more concerned about what's coming afterward. What's the deal with millennials? Most of them skipped out on flu shots, according to national surveys. Local doctors hope that's not the same reality for the COVID-19 vaccine. We spoke with Dr. Mark Epstein of True Health New Mexico. He says he's aware of the hesitancy and the vaccine side effects, but the belief they're worse than younger, healthier people? Dr. Epstein says it's just a myth. Uh, it's not significant significantly different from the younger group to the older group. Whether it's swelling, a rash, hot flashes, fatigue, or a fever, he says they're all expected normal reactions. Generally, these don't require any medical intervention whatsoever. They last one to two days. And it's a sign your body is reacting to the vaccine and boosting your immune response. Being that younger folks have a more robust immune system, they may be, feel that they're having more of these reactions, but in actuality, it's not significantly different. How common are these reactions? In New Mexico, we just passed a million shots given. According to CDC data in our state, there have been fewer than 270 times a vaccine reaction was recorded, the vast majority of them being relatively minor and normal. It's only a mild reaction generally, and it lasts a very short period of time. Compared to the risk of COVID, which is very real, even of all ages, and not to mention the risk of spreading it to others, even if you don't have symptoms of COVID yourself. But if you're still concerned, Dr. Epstein says it's worth reaching out to your doctor to fully understand your risks with the vaccine versus the virus. Megan Abundis, KOB4.